Aries and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. Aries, I am super excited to do y'all's July reading. I'm so super excited excited to do y'all's July reading because I feel like it's been a while since I've actually done a reading for you guys. So like this has just got me going. So let's hop right in. We're going to take a look Aries and see what are the general messages in regards to um, finances, career, messages from your spirit guides, and also love if that comes up as well. We'll talk about that too. All right, so we're just going to do general overall messages. It's a collective reading, Aries. So please keep do keep that in mind while you're watching the reading, that the messages will not resonate with every single Aries. So please check the other placements in your natal chart because... It's the right thing to do. All right. You just burn a little sage real quick. Go burn a little sage, Aries. All right, Aries. So let's see what messages come through for you guys. It go from there. Aries, spirit, what is the overall message for the sign of Aries? <laughs> what advice and affirmations do you have for the sign of Aries? I am using my self love affirmation advice oracle, which is available. I do have them in stock, you guys. Um, you can go over to my Etsy shop, Aquarian Empress Tarot, and purchase them there. I do also have a $10 off coupon coupon code for those of you who are interested in purchasing any of my decks on my Etsy shop. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support in advance. Affirmation. The amount of likes I have does not define me. So, Aries, what spirit wants you guys to keep in mind this month? You know, it's okay to be yourself, to be your true authentic self. Um, everybody's not going to like you and that's okay. You know, as long as you are being your true authentic self and you're being true to yourself, that's all that matters. Other people's opinions of you do not matter. Affirmation. A relationship does not define me. I am good either way. So whether you are single whether you're married, whether you're engaged, whatever your love situation is right now, Aries. So it's like, be happy where you are in your life. You, if you're single, stop, you know, overstressing and overthinking about the next person that's going to come into your life. Focus on you and being happy in the present moment is what spirit wants you to know. Let's see. I mean, it's okay to manifest and want that, to want the love, to want the relationship, but don't overstress and don't overthink the situation. We have advice. Let them have their opinion. That's all it is anyway. So if y'all are dealing with somebody who thinks a certain way about you or they're drawing conclusions that are inaccurate about you, it's their opinion. Let them have it. Don't let it affect you either way, Aries, because people are going to be people and people are going to say what they're going to say regardless. Affirmation. I am not too much. I just refuse to settle for less than. So you're not too much. You're not asking for too much. You know exactly what it is that you want, Aries. And you're going to go get it. All right. Let's get a message from the ancestors. For my favorite ancestor oracle deck by Kyle Gray. Let's get a message from the ancestors. Quick. What do you want Aries to know? Ooh, wise one grow within your current situation grow within your current situation and see she has an owl there 
right? And there's also a, um, is this a raven or a crow? But regardless, the both birds are sim symbolic of messages. And owls are symbolic of wisdom. All right. So yeah, the ancestors are saying, grow within your current situation. Why is one? Knuckle down, be reliable and committed. Be open to wisdom and insights from your elders. So listen to advice from those who are wise beyond their years is what spirit wants you to know. It says the wise one represents the wisest aspect of the goddess um, crone. In paganism and modern Wicca, the crone is the fiercest, most psychic, and most aware aspect of the goddess because she has been through many of life's challenges and overcome many setbacks. So for some of you Aries, some of you guys may need to seek advice from someone who is older and not necessarily older in age, but somebody who actually has more experience in something than you do. On this card, the raven, the raven in her hands represents the capacity to overcome the darker times and be reborn again and again. So she helps you to tap into wisdom to overcome whatever life throws at you. Because let's face it, life can be pretty shitty sometimes. Wisdom being the information stored in your soul rather than the knowledge acquired in this lifetime and to learn from the experience of your elders. Learn from other people's mistakes, Aries. Don't have to be that person that has to actually go through something and learn the lesson because you had to go through something. Now, I know we're all going to have them times, but today is not one of them days. Spirit is saying, try to learn from other people sometimes. Try to look at their situation and say, you know what? That's what I'm not going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Because that looks like it works. This looks like it doesn't. The wisdom of the wise one is based on something that the younger generation is often lacking. Commitment and reliability. When this card appears, you're being guided to continue working on your growth and expansion within your current situation. So whatever it is that you've got going on, whatever your life situation is right now, in this present moment, Aries, it is a learning experience. It is a part of your life journey. So don't let it get you down, okay? Don't want to give up. We go, Sometimes we may feel that way, but Spirit says to pick yourself back up and keep going because you're going to grow as you learn. Be committed to your tasks and projects. If you set a goal for yourself, whatever that daily goal is, Aries, stick to that. See it through. It can be very easy to get bored or overwhelmed, but persevere. Don't give up. Whatever you do, Aries, do not give up. Keep putting in those applications. Keep calling that job. Keep checking those emails. Keep feeding that baby. Keep doing that laundry. You know, keep getting up and doing those exercises. Whatever it is that you are struggling with right now, Spirit says now is the time to persevere. Don't give up because you're just on the, on the corner, just on the brink of making a breakthrough. You're being reminded of how it feels to be let down and experience unreliability. And that and that is not who you were born to be. So keep working on what you're working on because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you in the long run. So that's what your ancestors, the wise ones, want you to know. All right? So let's see what your situation, Aries. Let's look and have let's have a look and see what your situation is right now. All right, so what are the messages for Aries? General messages. What messages does the sign of Aries need to be aware of for the month of July? What does Aries need to be aware of for the month of July? Whoa, okay. The world. Cycle completion. So some things are changing for you guys, Aries. For some of you, it's changing in the aspects of the relationships that you have, close intimate relationships with close family members, friends, partners, whatever it is, your relationships are closing. Some of them, a cycle has been completed, whatever that cycle is. If it's been a cycle of, of argument, arguing, contentment, jealousy, gossip, this type of thing, negativity, that cycle is coming to an end. So a new cycle of love and peace and growth can begin. If it's the opposite, then it's vice versa the world some of you guys may be traveling soon aries or you may be thinking about traveling a distance a long ways could be going on a vacation because we do have the world here some of you may encounter someone who is from a different 
um, ethnic background than you. You know, you may you may meet a new friend along the way. Let's see. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Some of you may be visited by a friend. Somebody from your past, somebody you went to school with, somebody you've known for a long time. You may run into this person because it, it brings back memories. Oh, check this out. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Comfort, luxury. Okay. Yeah, this person, whoever this is that wants to see you. I feel like this person wants to see you, Aries. Somebody from your past could be a friend, could be a relative, um, could be a past lover. But somebody wants to come back and they want to see you because they feel at home with you. They feel like you you are home to them. I feel like for some of y'all, though, it could be a best friend. You haven't seen your friend in a long time. And it's just you guys want to catch up and just talk about a lot of things. The moon, hidden emotions, yeah, secrets, fears, yeah, whoever this is that may be coming towards you, Aries, um, like I said, this person may have held a lot in, you may have held a lot in, and you're going to be so happy to see this person, Nine of Cups, because you just feel comfortable talking to this person. Definitely with the moon being in Scorpio, if, if you have a lot on your chest, Aries, make sure you find that confidant, that one person that you trust to just really listen and be that support system for you. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is about gaining clarity. So you guys may be in your head a lot. Find that you're in your head a lot the next two weeks. Um, and also really like talking about things. Like I said, with somebody that you just feel comfortable talking to. Because they just give you that energy. Here, what else is Aries need to be aware of? King of Pentacles. Some of you guys... Um, are going to be in the king of pinnacle energy like you're really focused on stability right now being practical being frugal saving money setting aside money plans with money um but being responsible i feel like that may be your main thing right now being responsible and if you're dealing with a divine masculine he is in the king of pinnacle energy right now he's trying to be responsible pay bills take care of things hermit hermit mode Right now, you may be kind of in this energy of kind of just kind of withdrawn a little bit, Aries. Not really saying too much to anybody because I feel like, like I said, with this Ace of Swords, you guys have a lot on your mind for the next two weeks. Um, and you're not really saying much. But there is that one person, I feel like, somebody that you makes you feel comfortable. Because the Six of Cups is an energy of familiarity. So there's someone, could be your mom, could be a sister, a sibling, a brother, whoever. That you're going to feel comfortable with expressing your deep emotions. You need to get it out. Ace of Swords is about communication, awareness, clarity, and just being brutally honest about things. You need to let that out, Aries. You need to have an outlet. All right? Some of you guys have been going through some karmic cycles. And when I say some karmic cycles, some of you guys have experienced some losses. It could be literal, like literal losses of people in your family, people close to you. And my condolences to whoever has gone through that. But it could have been losses as well as like in the material world. Like some of you guys may have lost a job. Some of you guys may have lost, you know, financial stability. But Aries, keep your head up because things are about to get better. I feel like an olive branch is going to be extended to you. We have death. Um, just know that whatever has ended, whatever losses you have suffered is so that you can give, so that something new can be reborn. Okay, something better is headed your way, Aries. Yes, Knight of Cups. You guys are going to receive an offer. For some of you, this actually has to do with a love offer. But for some of you, this is a job offer. For some of you, this is just financial help. Somebody may be able to help you. Somebody may say, hey, let me help take care of the kids while you take care of this. You have support. You are supported. Look, Three of Cups, Aries. You're supported. Friends, family, relatives. You have support. So whenever you start feeling down, Aries... Just know that you are supported. Yeah. What about finances, spirit? Anything for fine? Anything in regards to finances for Aries? Eight of Swords. Yeah. If you were feeling stuck, I feel like some of you guys may have been feeling stuck. It's about to balance out. Check this out. We have justice. It's about to balance out. If you are feeling stuck about your financial situation, it's about to get better, Aries. Just give it time. It's about to balance itself out because I have justice and temperance here. And temperance is about divine timing. It was it wasn't it was wasn't your time to get whatever it was you thought you were you were you were gonna get, but the Empress, there's going to be growth. There's gonna be growth. 
Things are going to get better. And, and the Empress is also about healing energy. Yeah, Two of Wands. You're going to be able to move forward with whatever plans that you had. So, you know, in abundance. Because the sun is here on the bottom of the deck. So whatever plans you have financially in regards to career and finances, Spirit is saying you're going to be able to move forward and continue on with whatever plans you made. All right. So that's been your general reading Aries for the month of July. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, love you guys.